Yes, you heard me right. This stupid little show has that many, uh, well, we've been uh, canceled a lot too, but it has that many episodes. And um, for all you people out there, like, that show's horrible, man. How are you going to have all that and stuff? Let me tell you this. Once you pass a 1,000 episodes, then you could talk smack. In other words, if you haven't, shut the hell up. Also, almost as unbelievable, or maybe even more than a thousand episodes, is the people that have been on the show, this little stupid show, which I agree. <laughs> right, Dirk? Right. <laughs> I didn't know it's a great show. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, it's a great show. And uh, so today, uh, there's not going to be any live guests. It's going to be me giving out awards for people that have been on the show, actually. So if I hear anything in my email, TV at AOL.com, that, oh, what about this? What about It's the people that's been on the show, numbnuts. All right, so let's calm down. This show started in 1991 in uh, East Los Angeles, and we're now at the beautiful KGM Studios in Monrovia with the nice mountains in the background and everything like that. You know, uh, a white land. That's what it basically is. <laughs> and uh, yeah, see, I heard Dirk say, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Vanillaville. Yeah. Vanillaville. You know what? I never use that. That's good. I use about everything else, but that's good. So, and today we're going to play two of uh, clips of my uh, favorite movies. Yes, Plan 9 from Outer Space. I don't care if it sucks or whatever. <laughs> and actually has someone in that movie that's been on the show. The beautiful Vampira, who is no longer with us, but in our hearts she is. And also a martial arts classic, or kung fu classic, The Crippled Masters. You got to watch this movie, man. It is crazy. It is cray cray. So we're going to... Uh, Show some clips of people that's been on the show here and there. And I'm going to give out the awards. Uh, but let's get started. And welcome to the Psycho Circus. Welcome back, and uh, let's see, our first award we're giving out to, hold on here, hold on, hold on, hold on, the Badass Award, I should be in that, and I should win, but whatever. Uh, you have, uh, in the category of the Badass Award, you have Revenge the Ninja. Reggie Bannister, who is the ice cream man in Phantasm. He's a bad dude, man. Neil Stewart, my buddy, he's, in a, he's a stunt man. He's been in a lot of movies. If you've seen him, you'd recognize him. Uh, and Chris Casamasa, who played Scorpion in Mortal Kombat. And number five is Mikhail Kissy, which I'm sure all of you are like, what, what, who, who the hell is that? 
Michelle Kissy played Ton Pole in the movie Kickboxer, who was against Van Damme. All right, so, drum roll. Oh, we don't go. All right. It's, uh, you ever hear low budget? This is no budget. That's good, uh, that's good. There, <laughs> there you go. And the number badass award is... Reggie Bannister, the ultimate ice cream man with a shotgun fighting the tall man from Phantasm. Yay. <laughs> wow. Who are you? Stay where you are, I'll shoot you. What are you waiting for? Fire! Stop, I'm warning you. Let's go, please. All right. It's dangerous to stay here. We'll take him back to the house. Here. Help me. again and here we go the most unusual musician and the nominees are Count Smokula plays the accordion squeeze box he calls it Johnny Skunk plays the guitar Harry Perry the unofficial mayor of Venice Beach. You ever go there and there's a guy with an electric guitar with uh, skating on some rollerblades? Good old Harry Perry. Hollywood 2, who plays the guitar. And we can't forget the Armenian comedian who plays the flute. What kind of flute? I don't know. And the winner... Where's it? Going? Oh, I like a T-Rex arm. I couldn't reach it. Is drum roll. <laughs> okay. Count Smokula. Yay! Yay! I I love Count Smokula. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we'll be back.
in your own bed. And we're back here at the studio giving out the awards for our 1,000 episode. How many shows can say that? I'm not saying they're good, but still. Doing a crazy show like this, man, I ought to get an award. I damn award. I should get an award. I'll give you an award. Oh, no. I'll pass. Oh, uh, yeah. No, I'll pass. Uh, the weirdest comedian category, and the nominees are the Armenian comedian, Andrew Duvall. He was on that sci-fi series, uh, Fangasm. Uh, Don't forget the apartment. No, oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm sorry. I forgot the apartment. As you know, I'm a big uh, fan of Star Trek. I, I love Star Trek so much that when I was a little kid, I used to pray to God every night. I was just like, God, please make me the captain of the Enterprise. That's all I ever wanted. And uh, I'm 27 now, and I work for Enterprise. <laughs> so, <laughs> Boom shakalaka. Uh, Armando Creeper, who's a dead comedian, and... You mean his career was dead, or he's dead? Uh, well, he, he was dead. Uh, oh, he, he would perform... No, no, he would perform and he's dead. He's uh, the undead, I guess. I'm oh, sorry. Sorry to hear that. He's the undead. Yeah, you'd be sorry to hear, to hear that if you were there listening to him, but... <laughs> and the last but not least, the funny man... From Iran. And I know it's the same kind, but it's a different one. The winner is the Armenian comedian. There's no doubt. Well, it doesn't say the funniest comedian, it says the weirdest, so come on now. And let's go back to a clip. This will keep you warm now. Sleep well. And now, another category we have the most unusual street performer. Number one, Harry Perry from Venice. Number two, Animation, who's an incredible dancer from Venice. Number three, Flat Top, who you might see at Venice or uh, Universal Studios. He does some really crazy dancing. Number four, Mr. TV, who's at Venice. You're all right, but it must have been a nightmare. Yes, it was a nightmare, that's all. You seem very upset. If you'd like me to, I could lie here with you until you feel better. Tell me about the dream you had. Was it a bad one? No. It was something very personal. I'd prefer not to talk about it. Don't talk about it, then. I'm terribly tired. I think I'll try to sleep.
Welcome back. You know what? Don't be mad at me about who won and everything. I put out there, you Morlocks out there, I put out the, the categories and the people and for you to vote and stuff. So, hey, I don't have nothing to do with that. I added them up and that was whatever, okay? So, if you're trying to get all crazy and everything, do it with your wife. Or your significant other, or whatever. Well, however you roll, it's fine. Me, I don't care. All right. Let's see. Ooh. Let's see. All right. We have people. These bastards. People who have either beat me up, sparred, punched, choked, kicked, or pushed. Or fondled. <laughs> no, that list is too long. Or pushed me, the night shadow. And let me explain this award because every time I go to cons and all this conventions and all this stuff, there's people that are jealous of me. On my good looks, and I do look good unless I take my mask off and I'm out. Because of my prestigious 1,000 episodes. <laughs> and just because probably they're just a bunch of troublemakers. And I'm, an, I'm just a little guy. I'm innocent. So that's the category, and we have, and yes, it's going to sound unbelievable, but yes, these are the people that have done one, uh, one or even more of those things that I listed. Number one is Hoist Gracie. For some of you uh, morons out there, he was the one who won the first UFC, and that's where Gracie Jiu-Jitsu came in with his dad that taught them and all that. All right. Number two, Kurt Angle. Choked me. Hoist Gracie, actually, I wrestled against, and which didn't take too long. But number three, Shaquille O'Neal. Almost broke my foot stepping on it. Just trying to be a funny guy. Number four, oh, Kane Hodder. Some of you people are not into horror. Kane is the, uh, the best person that's ever played Jason from Friday the 13th. And he's done a bunch of other stuff. He's a stuntman, a great stuntman. And, of course, Jason from Friday the 13th, who choked me for reals. I 
think he had a he had a bad day. I think uh, he was having a bad day or something. I don't know. He didn't get his uh, cereal or something. I don't know what's going on. Number five, Michelle Kissy, who I already explained was Tone Pole in Kickboxer. Number six, Chris Casamasa, Scorpion from Mortal Kombat. Seven, Pretty Boy, Oscar De La Hoya. Man, I used to mess with him all the time. I used to pick him up off the ground. He couldn't get out and all that. Of course, he could knock me out, but I tried to run after I put him down real quick. Back then, I could run a little bit. Number eight, Mil Mascaras. Now, I know a lot of you ain't going to know who that is unless you're really wrestling fans. He's a legend from Mexico. He was in all those... 60s movies with uh, fighting like he's a superhero and fighting against mummies and monsters and all that stuff. Another unbelievable entry, the ultimate warrior. Uh, I accidentally pushed him. It was an accident. Number 10, Dan Severn, who uh, won... The UFC number three. Yeah, he almost broke my elbow. Number 11. Oh, another outstanding entry. Robert England. For some of you who don't know, he is Freddy Krueger. Scratched me with his, one of his claws. Accidentally, I think. I think. Number 12, Dan Fry, another MMA guy in Japan who's uh, quite accomplished. And number 13, hey, you notice how we go to 13? Because that's my favorite number. That is Richard Keel. Uh, he played Jaws in the James Bond movie. He almost, uh, he was trying to shake my head off or something. I don't know what's wrong with that guy. He's older, so I don't know, you know, I don't know what's going on with that. All right, are we ready? We are. For the winner of people who have either beat me up, sparred, punched, choked, kicked, or pushed the night shuttle, which is me. It is number one. Hoist Gracie. Now, like I said, I didn't vote. I Really, I probably would have put all those people in uh, number one because there's some really good names in there. But Hoist Gracie won that one. Hey, you're lucky that you're not around here right now, Hoist, or else I would, uh, yeah. Yeah, I would. Let's go back the movie. Going. We're going, man. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm staying awake for most of this. Huh? I'm, I'm staying awake for most of this. <laughs> so, so yeah, you. what about the category of fondled then? Oh, that'd be yeah. too many. Too lit, too many. That'd be too many to list. I don't, I don't have enough paper at the house. Yeah. Okay, let's see what else we so, get. So yeah, you brought Gracie in one time, didn't you? No, not Hoist, no. Oh, uh, well, one of the Gracies came in, wasn't it? Might have been, but not, not with me. Oh, I thought you brought someone in. That might have been uh, Dell or something. Okay. And we're back here. Isn't this exciting? I'm excited. Yeah. All right, we have HKFT, which is horror kung fu theater, for you people out there writing with crayons. HKFT, sexiest female. Man, my voice broke because I got all happy. Sexiest female. Number one, Shelly Martinez, who uh, some of you know wrestling. She was in uh, TNA and she was in WWE. Um, what else we got? Number two, Raven, the belly dancer. 
Oh, I love me some Raven, man, when she was on. Number three, Danielle Harris, who, of course, was in uh, Halloween 4 and has done many, 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 many scary movies. Number four, Christy, the queen of crush. Female wrestler, loves to get your head between her legs and squeeze. Wow, Dirk, you're better, man, because you would have popped right in there and said something. I'm uh, pledging myself right now. Hey. <laughs> what the heck? I should have said nothing, man. Number five, Barbette, the schizophrenic French maid. Okay, let's see. What we got here? <laughs> And it is Danielle Harris, the beautiful Danielle Harris. But I never tell her she's beautiful because you know how many people tell her that all the time. Go to her head. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Well, and you you had that episode that's on YouTube behind the scenes with Danielle Harris. Yeah. It's it's good. It's funny. It's good. Yeah. And she was you know she was hitting on me, but you know hey you know I'm married so I told her sorry. She's married too, so I don't know. What, I don't know what's going on with that. Okay, I'm lying. <laughs> and we'll be back. Using that high quality paper. Of course. And welcome back, everybody, to our 1,000 episode. 1,000. I can't believe this stupid show's been on that long. Just like a lot of people can't. Next award is the Scream Queen Supreme. This was uh, a run uh, runaway vote here. Number one, we have Myla Nurmi, who, if you don't know who she is, turn the show off. You're not allowed to watch it is the original Vampira, Myla Nurmi. Number two, which she's in this movie that we're showing, uh, Plan 9 from Outer Space. Quite a dish, I know. Back in the day, man. Number two, PJ Souls, who is a horror icon. She was killed in the movie Carrie. She was that girl that always wore the red cap. And, of course, Halloween, she was killed by Michael Myers. Totally. Number three, the delightful and delicious Danielle Harris. Let's see who won this one here. Uh, where is it? Oh. It is... Vampira by a landslide, I got votes. The mother of all horror hosts. Her show started here in Los Angeles, which Los Angeles has a rich reputation of horror hosts, which is, that's what I am. A lot of people, it's, which is a dying art. That's not, a, <laughs> I'm the only one I think left with the longest show. I've been called the dean of uh, horror hosts in Los Angeles, so, which is better than some of the stuff I've been called. Thank you. Love you, Vampira. I love you, too. <laughs> what? Did you hear that? I think she, her voice, her solo <laughs> came through here. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> with just two more. Okay, three more categories. All right. Now it is horror sci-fi icon of HKFT. 
And this is a very hard category. Number one, Forrest J. Ackerman, Uncle Forey, who uh, was the editor for Famous Monsters, done movies, and he was a really good man, especially coming on our show. He's been on our show about 10 times. And that, that takes a really good man to come on this one. Number two, Myla Nurmi, Vampira. Number three, Felix Silla who is always a, a name that's been, uh, is, a, is an icon in the movies and stuff, but people like regular people don't know him, but he's like, a, a, he's also a stunt man, and he's one of the true icons in horror. He was the original Cousin It from the Adams Family. Just to let you a little thing, little, uh, little thing he did. Number four, Reggie Bannister, my buddy from Phantasm, who's been on the show. Him and his lovely wife, Gigi, been on the show more than ten times, probably. Number five, Paul Nashi, who is an icon in Spain. He always played uh, Valdemar, the, the werewolf. Number six, Coffin Joe Mojica. Coffin Joe is a horror icon in Brazil, and he used to do the character Coffin Joe. Very strange character, if you know what I mean, you know. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, I know what you mean. Okay. And, and I also know, don't put cream in your coffin. Oh, brother. It's not Coffee Joe, it's Coffin. E -e 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 -e. Number seven, icon John Saxon who was in Enter the Dragon with the great Bruce Lee and Nightmare on Elm Street and a bunch of other movies. Number eight, Butch Patrick, who uh, was Little Eddie Munster in The Munsters. Number nine, Ben Chapman who played uh, the creature from the Black Lagoon, not in the water, but when he was above, uh, above the ocean, or the lake, I guess, because it would have been creature of the Black Lagoon, no creature of the Black Lake, no? Creature of the sea. Creature of the sea, yeah, chicken of the sea. Yeah, yeah. so uh, it's creature of the Black Lagoon, I'm sorry. Uh, also, number 10, Tippy Hedron who was also in the iconic movie, who starred in Alfred Hitchcock's The Birds. Let's see now, let's have a, let's have a, a, a big drum roll. <laughs> this was very hard to pick to see who won this one, so, This is all of them won. Because you can't, can't choose over those icons like that. Crazy. So all of them won. I made that decision. Not, to, not you people out there. Vote for yourself. Those darn people. Yeah, you damn people. Oh, you damn bums. Yeah. All right. And we'll be back. This is heavy. Oh, sir. Oh, sir. Ah! Welcome back, everyone, to our 1,000 episode. Uh, you can either email me, horrorkungfutv at aol.com. 
You can go on our Facebook, Horror Kung Fu Theater Zero, and we spell theater the the eloquent, and what how you say it? Eloquent. 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 I'm sorry. Like the eloquent in the room. <laughs> oh boy. The eloquent way. T H E A T R E, not T E R. So horror kung fu theater zero on our Facebook, puck, I mean book. A damn stroke. All right. Yeah, it's also your your channel on YouTube, right? Yes. Horror kung fu theater zero. Yes. Oh, did I say? Uh, that's our YouTube channel. I'm sorry, we have over 300 videos on there. Much more when Dirk gets finally gets finished editing or putting our stuff on there. I put them on a glacial speed. Yeah. And uh, our, um, so let's see, our Facebook is Horror Kung Fu Theater. I'm sorry. So that's all that technical stuff is way too, it's, uh, I'm not smart enough to know all that stuff. Okay, two more categories, big time. This category is the weirdest weirdo of the weird. <laughs> Number one, Armenian comedian. Number two, Beetlejuice, who's on the Howard Stern show. Number three, Doto, who is from K Rock Radio. Oh, oh. Number four, Dennis of Duda. Number five, Hollywood Louise. Remember her? Oh, yeah, I remember that. Yeah, I bet you do. Number poor, s poor Patrick, the last producer. He <laughs> oh, yeah, because she was hitting out of a... Yeah, I kind of liked it, but he, he wasn't... I'm well, more of a make lemonade out of lemons kind of a guy, you know. He but was down with it, huh? He's more of a normal human being. She actually played uh, one of the girl vampires in Blackula, which is a racist movie, but hey. Huh. Yeah, that, that's what she's I nice said. Gal. I like I like Lou. Yeah, she's all right. Like She's got some pretty good jokes though. She's a, she's a halfway decent writer. Mm. So, yeah. Number 6, Low Rider Joe from East Los Angeles. Number 7, Scary Perry Caravello. You gotta see this guy, man. He has a movie called Windy City Heat. Oh, it's about everybody's pranking him in the movie. And he actually thinks the movie's real. Jimmy Kimmel and uh, set it up, and it's just, it's hilarious, man. You gotta see it. Jimmy Kimmel. Hey, Jimmy Kimmel, remember when I grabbed your fat frog neck and squeezed it over there at K Rock Studios a long time ago? Oh, I digress. Number eight, Neil the Naughty. Number nine, <laughs> oh God, Ebenezer Skeezer. I do not know whatever happened to him, man. I think they hauled him away. And number 10, Woofy from East Los Angeles, who was on the show for probably two years, every week except one time he was drunk when he came in. <laughs> every, every show except for one. And the only reason why that one time he wasn't drunk because he didn't have any money to buy him a six pack, so I had to give him money afterwards because he kept begging me. You drunk. It reminds me of the, the Del Talk show. It's another YouTube show. Yeah. That's one of those shows where every now and then you'll smell a little booze. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and the winner is, it was a very hard choice too, not for me, but it is, oops, oops, Beetlejuice. From the Howard Stern Show, which you probably seen him in uh, the intro 
of this show where it's a psycho circus and he was a little, like a peanut head guy with a suit on waving stuff if you don't know Beetlejuice. He has like a real little head and a, like a, bo a regular body. So thank you and one more award after this. Okay, go. Okay. And we're back for the last part of the show. I uh, want to thank everybody. If I miss any names and people, of course, it's because because I'm old. Too many uh, chair shots to the head. So please forgive me. Um, 1,000 shows. We've been on 24 years and a half. Last category, the most important character in the history of horror kung fu theater. And the nominees are Mad Mike, Elvis De Presley, not Presley, De Presley, he's just... Sad guy. Number three, Sigmund Fraud. Not Freud, Fraud. Number four, Brobot, who was back in the day a professional break dancer and stuff, and now he's like selling, selling his old videos of him 20 years ago or more. And number five, is I'm sorry, don't, don't, cry. <laughs> don't cry. I don't really know if I should. Want to come in but, there and give you a hug? No, 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 <laughs> no. definitely not that one. No. All right, I'll cheer you up the, no. the hard way. Is um, <laughs> uh, hard top. Yeah, it was a uh, some guy that who tried to make himself in a flat top and it was hard top and he had something in his trousers and oh yeah i don't boing, 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 boing. i boing, guess boing, boing, boing. guess that's why he was called hard top i guess so we have the most important character and it goes to some guy. Bad Mike. Bad Mike. Bad Mike, who was played by my uh, my brother Willie Tarts, who played all the characters I just mentioned anyway. Also, so the most important character in horror comic piece. Theater. All right, thank you guys for uh, putting up with this, and I'll be back for another thousand episodes. Oh no! No, I'll probably. I mean, yay! No, I'll probably kick yay. it, kick it next week, probably. Anyway, see you guys later. Our uh, Halloween show is coming up. Uh, we're taping this in, or we're doing it live uh, in. Uh, 2015 July, is that right? Yeah. 
Yeah, just to get the dates in there, you know. Yeah, this so. is July 2015. Oh, okay, yeah. This episode is great. Um, and I always make sure I put the date on the YouTube. And we'll see you guys later. Woohoo!